All right, here's another series. We want to find the sum of it. Um, and I've already written up here uh, the formula for a finite geometric series. But let's make sure that we know that this is a geometric series and not an arithmetic. So I would have to add something to 0.6 to get 0.3, or I would take 0.3 minus 0.6, and that would give me negative 0.3. And if I add negative 0.3 to 0.3, I don't get 0.15. So this is not arithmetic. So it's uh, it, it actually could be neither, but let's go on the assumption that it is geometric, and we'll prove it's geometric. So to be geometric, the ratio of subsequent terms are equal. So you take the second divided by the first, which equals the third divided by the second, which equals the fourth divided by the third, so on and so forth. You can do that pretty quickly with your calculators just to verify that. And when you do that, you will find out that r is 1 half. So this is geometric. So sure enough, I can use this formula. Let's identify all the things in the formula. So s sub n is the sum of n terms, terms, a sub 1 is the first term, and in this case it's 0.6, r, well that's our common ratio, common ratio, ratio, and in this case it's 1 half, and n, well n is the number of terms, and I can just simply count them right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So n is 5. So let's calculate our sum. Um, and I'm well aware you could just add them up on your calculator, but uh, it's not always going to be just 5 terms. So a sub 1, here we go, is 0 0.6 times 1 minus r. r is 1 half. There we go. And that's to the n power. Notice that goes on the inside of the parentheses, all over 1 minus 1 half. And when you calculate that out, I'll let you do that to verify that, you get 1.1625. Make sure you can do this calculation with only the 1 half to the power and then subtract it from 1. So that's the sum of those five terms of the geometric, of a uh, finite sequence of a geometric.